Today we'll be learning about how to set up an attendance course in your elearn.usm.my. Today we'll be using a testing course. So we will be learning how to set up an attendance and how to add sessions for the attendance. And now head over to the course that you want to select. In this case, it's testing course. Once we're here, we can add an activity by turning on our editing. And now head on to add an activity or resource. And now we can hear there's a lot of activities. Right now we want to click on the attendance activity. Okay, right now you can see there's a name, there's descriptions, and all the other stuff. We can edit the name and description here. Now we have the grade. You can have it in a point or you can have it in a scale. The maximum grade is what you want it to be. So in this case, we're just going to have it on 10. The grade categories, and you can leave it alone. And the rest under here, if you want to keep it simple and easy to understand, you should just leave it as is and click Save and Display. As you can see here, we have just made an attendance, but we have no sessions to speak of. So right now, we want to head over to the Add Session tab and click on it. And now we can see the Add Sessions. So here you have your date, your time, and your description. First, we're just going to be putting at 10 of October 2020, for example. And we can also pick the time for when these sessions are going to be held so for example if you have a class at 9 uh, it's advised that you set it to an earlier time maybe 8 45 so if students come earlier they can get access to sign the attendance earlier and for example if you finish at say 11 you should just keep it at that so no one can sign later than 11 a.m for example okay now you can head on to multiple sections or sessions so what this means is if you have a class say on set day each week you can add those classes on the exact time and the exact day each week according to when you have it, maybe you have it each week, every two weeks. So we can set it to 8 uh, November. So maybe you only have that class for one month, for, ex uh, for an example. So we just click it over there. Okay, now we have student recording. So it would be easier if you allow students to record their own attendance by either entering a password or including a QR code. Uh, as you can see here, it has a random password at the moment, but you can change this by unclicking the random password and putting a specific password for yourself. For example, maybe you want to have the password to be uh, maybe ABC, you would type it in, so ABC. And then right after you do that, you just want to click on the add and it'll automatically add the sessions to your attendance so right now you can see all your sessions have been updated within your attendance okay now we're done with that we want to head over to the status set tab and over here we can set a student as being present late or absent and also here we can put grades to their attendance for example if the student comes by maybe 45 minutes uh, during the attendance. So maybe you start at 8.45 and you want it to say maybe the student is counted as present until only 9.30. You would enter 45 minutes here. So once a student scans or enters their password after 45 minutes, they will be considered late. And if they don't scan at all, they would be considered absent. So here is where you want to put the details of that in. 
and you can just add it by pressing update and it would update throughout the whole attendance of the course. Okay, now we're going to be heading over to the warning set. So warning sets is basically if a student, they fail to attend five classes or they fail to scan the attendance for five classes, they would automatically receive an email. So for example, they don't scan the attendance for five times, they would be uh, given an email sent automatically and given the subject of the email, the contents, the contents may vary depending on what you want to add. So here in the email contents, you can adjust it to your liking and so on. So once you're done with that, you can just add edit and now you would have an attendance warning. So you can see the warning threshold is 70 and the numbers of sessions are 5. So those are the requirements to get a warning in your email. Now we'll be heading over to temporary users. So temporary users are helpful if, uh, for example, a student wants to join your course but it is currently full within the system so they can't automatically do that. So what we want to do is we can add a name in here. So for example, Sheikh Muas and then we want to add the email example student at usm.my and then we can just add them right in here by clicking the add users so this is uh, helpful as you can see the name the email when it was created you can edit the user you can delete or you can merge the users entirely so now we're going to be heading over to the report button so right now we can see the student we just created, but it would typically uh, contain your regular students and your temporary users. So we can say the name, the email address, the mobile phone and the department. And over here, we can see how many times they've been present, how many times they've been late and absent accordingly. So we can see the marks on the attendance and so on. This can be helpful if you are recording your attendance it can just easily show how many times they've been present late and absent and can easily help you with taking attendance so now we're going to be heading over to the export tab so over here we can export the data of our attendance and maybe a excel format other formats that are available and you can easily do that by clicking ok and we'll receive that in a downloaded file now we are going to look at what the students when they are filling out their attendance so they have to navigate down to the attendance activity and click on it and now they will see all the available classes and we can see that one is open and we have to click on it and now we have to enter a password which we previously set to ABC. And now we have to save the changes. And now we have successfully filled out our attendance. And you can see on the top that a message is displayed that we have indeed successfully filled out an attendance. Now we are done with the tutorial for the attendance and you can now head on for yourself and create attendance within your course.